Our next speaker <laughs> is a, a dear friend to, to me, even if I didn't get to save the date for May 8th, 19th. She's getting married and I didn't get an invitation for that. <laughs> I asked her to be her best man. She said no. <laughs> Christine Quinn has spent her whole career in public service. She's the first openly gay council speaker. She has been an advocate for affordable housing, unfair taxes, early childhood education, and a big advocate for the LGBTQ population. Christine Quinn has been so approachable for me. I've stalked her for many years. <laughs> I tried to see if she would go out with me, but her girlfriend Michelle said, Kim. no. I know, I know it's Kim. I just, I just want to see if, I want to see if you knew. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent pictures to Kim of me and uh, Christine together and told her she had to be worried. I did not get a response. <laughs> Without further ado, which I never understood what that meant, ado, Councilwoman yeah. Christine. Yeah. So, woo, funny story. Um, I have laryngitis, excuse me. We're turning up the block. And one of the detectives says, is this that woman that kind of stalks you? So, yes, you're officially a stalker, Donovan, by the NYPD of the speaker. So, we now have a watch list, and apparently you're the total number on it. <laughs> but, uh, uh... Let me just say before I come back to Donna May, Donna Ray, and all of the rest of the staff here, congratulations. Commissioner Gonzalo Sanchez, thank you for all of your great work. I also want to thank my colleagues in government who have been so supportive of this facility, and, and I know Donna May will agree, not every elected official is supportive of having a center in their district that helps people struggling with addiction and substance abuse. In fact, there are a lot of elected officials who say, I don't want that in my neighborhood, right. but uh, our great Great, great Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez and our terrific Councilwoman Sarah Gonzalez have said, people need help, we want to help people. So thank you both so very, very much. Yeah. And I also know the Borough President, Marty Markowitz, has been a big part of the team yeah. as well. Um, let me just go back to Donna May for a second. Everything she said is actually true. She sent those pictures to Kim of the July 24th wedding. Uh, so it was all very true. But uh, 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 it was funny. Uh, but Donna May, you know, uh, I'm just laughing to myself because uh, there's some stories I can't tell and I won't because there's press here. But, um, you know, whether it's you bounding up to people like me or I'm sure Nydia or Sarah at events with that tremendous energy, whether it's your persistence, it's whether when my staff said I couldn't attend, you emailed me and said you're coming, right? And so I'm not going to stay, but I did, was like, absolutely, because I'm not saying no to you. Uh, <laughs> it is that energy, that love, that I'm going to get it done attitude that has brought us this, that has brought these services, as the commissioner said, from Brooklyn to Buffalo, and it is why we are really in your debt. Because a lot of other people see problems, they see challenges, they see people who need help, and at worst they turn away, or they become overwhelmed, and they just become saddened by it, and don't figure out there's a way to solve it, and that they were sent to be able to see that because they're supposed to help people find their solution. And that's what you and your staff are doing here. That's what your clients and the people you work with, the people you're training, do every, every day. And in addition to the people you will help, the example that you will set for other people and other neighborhoods, it is a priceless gift to the city and the state of New York. And I just, on behalf of myself and Sarah Gonzalez, want to thank you for letting the council be part of your family. And you can stalk me anytime, girl. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.